Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. Today I'd like to talk to you about engine hooks, uh, specifically in the high power Aerotech kits. Uh, the Aerotech is the only one that uses uh, the engine hooks. This is kind of old school. Uh, most of the uh, engine retention nowadays has gone with the uh, Aeropack retainers or some other kind of retainer system. Uh, but the engine hooks still cause people some problems even though it's pretty simple to use. Now the Aerotech kits were designed to use the um, RMS 29 40 to 120 casing. Uh, that, that's a big mouthful but basically it's this reloadable engine right here. Uh, when you put it in the engine hook just latches over the outside right into that little notch on the outside of the engine casing. Well, if you want to use other engines besides this one, uh, such as a single-use motor like this one, you'll notice that the, the motor is a lot shorter. So when you put it into the rocket, it will go way too far in. And actually, I got it backwards, but it's still way too far in. Um, now, what we can do um, is to use the little ring. Uh, Aerotech, when they make their single-use motors, they provide this little ring like this, and that goes over the outside of the case. So when you put that into the rocket, what you do is slide that ring pretty far forward, and then just push the casing in until it latches over the edge, like that. And then push the ring down up against the body tube on the inside, and then carefully pull it out. And now that ring is in the right spot. And basically what we do is we just glue it in place. And I got some super glue here. And we'll just glue it around the perimeter. And when it dries, you're ready to launch. Um, if you don't have that ring, what you can use is some tape. Basically, it's the same process. Um, but um, since you don't have the ring, you're going to have to mark it with your finger or with a pencil. So you'll put the engine in right over to the edge. Uh, find out where it touches the uh, the case like that. I can mark it with this piece of tape here. That looks pretty good. So then what you'll do is you'll build up a ring using tape like this. Just go around and around until you get enough thickness where the engine no longer slides into the tube. And it's probably going to take about six or seven times around the perimeter to build up enough thickness. But you get the idea. So then once you put it in, it's going to stop. And then the hook just latches over the end. And there you go. So my name again was Tim Van Milligan. This is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. If you like these videos, um, just go down here at the bottom in Google or uh, YouTube. I'm on YouTube. Um, and in the comment section, just put a, a comment what you thought of this video. And uh, we'll see you next time.